This isn't the cargo hold. Oh, hi, Sonic. How's it going, Cosmo? Huh? <laughs> That's the last one. I've been meaning to ask you, what's the point of having these artificial palm trees? It's not exactly tropical out here in space. Yeah, I know, but it's all because of your grandfather. Chuck once told me that it's important to make a ship like home to keep up the crew's morale. Really? His ideas sure are original. Hi, Amy. Watch this stuff for me, will ya? Wait, Sonic! Uh, do you think Shadow is okay? <sighs> Don't worry, he's always making a comeback. Hey! What should I do with this stuff? Oh. about that bat. It serves her right for fluttering around where she doesn't belong. I'm almost done. Uh, What's uh, wrong? Just a little sore. That was a tough fight. The Metarex are totally relentless. They keep collecting planet eggs. I know they're transforming them somehow, but I can't figure out why. Planet eggs and Chaos Emeralds all have huge amounts of power. I bet the Metarex want to use that energy to take over the galaxy. How are we ever going to defeat them? Red Pine said there were three other commanders out there with armies of Metarex ready to fight. I don't know if we can win, but if we give up, the galaxy is doomed. How could Red Pine have been defeated? He was almost as strong as me. What you and Red Pine never understood is that strength must be balanced with intelligence and skill. You are far too proud of your power. Your strength is your weakness. You're calling me weak? This bickering is pointless. We should be fighting our enemies, not each other. We will not win this conflict unless we are unified. We're not fighting. Just having a difference of opinion over tactics. Argue if you want, but my focus will stay on our foes, especially on Sonic. He is far more dangerous than you realize. The fact that he defeated Red Pine is extremely disturbing. I must learn the secret of his speed and discover his weaknesses. I will not feel at ease until that hedgehog has been eliminated. I'm tired of all this talking. Why don't we go find him and fight him now? I will not be intimidated by a hedgehog. He and his fellow fighters were weakened by their recent battle. The powers at our command are more than adequate to finish off Sonic forever. Exactly. But we got lost in space. <laughs> and there was no place to stop and ask directions! You mean you've been lost since you delivered those packages to me? But that was weeks ago. Well, outer space is a big place. Plus our warp engine gave out and we didn't have any jumper cables to restart it. You should have sent out an SOS and we would have picked you up sooner. Our transmitter got broke thanks to a certain bumble and bee. It wasn't my fault. <sighs> I can probably repair your ship, but it may take some time, and until I'm done, you'll have to wait on board the Blue Typhoon. While you're staying here, I don't want any trouble, okay? Captain's orders. No problem. Eh? Forget 
Forget it. I'm not going to let you boss me around. Fine, then I won't fix your shit. Huh? Don't listen to him. I give you my word we'll be on our bestest behavior. And since you're making repairs anyway, why don't you install a multifunctional auto-navigational system? That way we can get home. <sighs> no problem. Lunch is ready. Huh? Hey, where did Chris go? He's finishing the repairs on the Blue Typhoon for me. I've got my hands pretty full fixing Vector's ship. We sure keep you busy, don't we? Uh, it's nothing I can't handle. And besides, I like making repairs. What do you know? What's going on, Vector? Now I see why Tails didn't want us around while he fixed our ship. That little fox sure is foxy. Huh? Tails has a crush on that green girl. He got rid of us so that he could be alone with her, and I'll bet he's going to ask her for a date or invite her to take a spacewalk so they can gaze at the stars. I think you and the others have been pushing yourselves too hard lately. At least we have time to take it easy now. Hmm, this would probably be a good time to spring my surprise on everybody. What kind of surprise do you have in mind, Cosmo? I'm not going to tell you. Look at him! Tails is too shy and insecure to tell that girl how much he cares about her. I know exactly what that feels like. <laughs> I think you drank too much swamp water when you were a baby. Tails says he doesn't need help fixing up my ship, but wandering around doing nothing while he sweats away makes me feel like a freeloader. I've been thinking that since Tails is scratching our back, maybe we ought to scratch his back. It's itchy. That's just an expression. Sorry. We'll repay Tails for what he's doing by helping him win the heart of that green gal. We're detectives, Vector, not matchmakers. I've come up with a scheme I call Project Dame in Distress. Here, let me tell you how it'll work. So we got that <laughs> hey, who's there? It's me. I'm getting bored of waiting for my ship to get fixed. Do you want to play tag with me? Uh, I've got more important things to do. Knuckles can't catch me. Knuckles can't catch me. Knuckles can't catch me. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> You're going to be sorry you said that, Buzz Boy. <laughs> Work, Charmy! Now I'll take over. When I'm through, his own mama <laughs> won't recognize him. You take it from here, Espio. Right. I hope everybody enjoys my surprise. Cosmo! Ah! I switch sides. I'm fighting for the Metarex now. Uh... I'm going to take you prisoner. <laughs> Resistance is useless. The, the Metarex rule! <sighs> Growl or something! <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right! Tails to the rescue! What are you doing, Knuckles? Cosmo? <gasps> Don't ask me. He jumped out, said some crazy things, and started dancing. Huh? Knuckles, why do you have makeup all over your face? Huh? <laughs> Is that ballet? I don't know. Forget it, SPO! Run for it! This isn't over yet, Cosmo! I thought Knuckles was always serious. I didn't realize that he was secretly a practical joker. <laughs> Hmm. Unfortunately, I think Knuckles came out ahead in this round. Yeah, if this keeps up, he's going to give Tails some competition. <laughs> <laughs> that gravity field we fell into really bent me out of shape. What about me? Are my dents almost gone? You never had any damage. I just enjoy striking you with this. Hey, look at uh -huh. me! You peewees better stay! How did you turn into a big shot? The gravity field must have stretched him out. We can fix that. We'll, we'll pound you down to size. size. Oh, oh, I like being tall. You shrimp to just yell us because you'll have to look up to me from now on. Can't we settle this on a basketball court? Well, Rouge, you got more than you bargained for when you stowed away on my ship. That's an understatement. All I wanted was the Chaos Emeralds. I suspected it all along. What happened to us anyway? 
It would appear we were swallowed up by some kind of gravity field and spit back out into an unknown part of the galaxy. You're joking, right? It may take us a little while to get our bearings. With luck, we'll be able to return to our own region of space without too much difficulty. I hope so, but what'll we do about Sleepyhead here? Shadow needs some time to recover. He's still knocked out because he released all his energy before he transformed into Super Shadow, and now he's completely run down. I just hope it hasn't had any other interesting effects on him. Could he get his memory back? Maybe. What happened to me, Doctor? You passed out, but you're fine. Did everybody else make it out safely? You saved us all! Thanks to that ring on your wrist, you overpowered our enemies! Really? I should have looked where I was going. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'll talk to you later, okay? Huh? Cosmo must have dropped this when I bumped into her. Guys, my new plan's sure to do the trick. I'm afraid to ask what your plan entails. Well, it's still a work in progress. Where's he going? Cosmo! Oh. Now it won't be a surprise. Why did you decide to throw a party for everybody? I know fighting the Metarex can be exhausting, so I thought you all deserved to have a little bit of fun. It's not easy to put a party together by yourself. Why don't you let me give you a hand? But you have to repair Vector's ship. It wasn't in bad shape. I'm already done. I'm all yours now. Ha! Then I'll take you up on your offer. Great! What would you like me to do? Let me see. Tails is doing pretty good on his own. Then there's no need for us to get involved. Let's go. We can't leave yet. You're completely clueless when it comes to this stuff, SPO. This romance still needs a little push. And since I'm naturally pushy, I'm just the one to make sure Tails wins that girl. Game, set, and match. <clears throat> Why, hello! Oh, Victor! We were passing by when we overheard you talking about the surprise party. If you don't mind, we'd like to help out too. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm not so sure this is a good idea. We're repaying you for fixing our ship, Foxy Woxy. All we ask is that you and the missus remember to invite us to the wedding. Huh? Don't! Never mind. Seeing how Tails is so shy, I've got a hunch he won't stay anywhere near Cosmo while he's helping her. Uh, uh. So we're gonna stage a bogus blackout. That's when me and Espio will make our move and give love a helping hand. After Tails and that girl stand close to each other for a few seconds, I guarantee the sparks will really start flying. We'll call it Project Date in the Dark. <laughs> okay, you can help us if you promise to back off. It's just as I suspected. Hmm. Let's move. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Don't you guys know it's dangerous to run in the dark? Even the best plan could blow up on you. <sighs> Are you ready to give up now? I'm just starting to get warmed up, old buddy. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna make sure that true love triumphs. You should let their relationship develop naturally. My next scheme's so perfectly plotted it can't fail. All I need's for you to disappear! But Vector, I'll do it. Hey, Cosmo, huh? do you have any more streamers for me to put up? Go! Huh? You dropped your hanky, Cosmo. But that's not mine. Well, whoever this belongs to really needs to drop it in the washing machine. Hey, look, something is embroidered there. V-E-C-T-O-R. <laughs> Vector, I think you better have this thing disinfected. Yeah, I'll do that. 
I'm not gonna get involved in any more of your hanky-panky. I can't believe how Tails keeps blowing the opportunities I've given him! For a detective, you certainly are clueless. It looks great, Cosmo! I never would have finished without your help, Tails. I really owe you. You don't have to thank me, Cosmo. I like being with you. Oh, really? Me too, Tails. It's been fun to work together. We make a pretty good team, don't you think so? I agree. Well, Vector, I'd say there's no need for you to turn up the heat, unless you want to get burned again. I guess it's true being a love detective ain't exactly my speciality. So our matchmaking mission is finally over, Vector? Not yet, Charmy. Those two squares still need to learn how to have a ball! Were you, Cosmo? Uh, I'm fine, Tails, thanks to you. Uh, huh? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Don't you have something better to do? No, no not, not really. really. <laughs> you look like you could use a lift. It's lucky for me you know how to fly. I've been thinking. What is it? Uh, maybe we could do this more often. Their relationship's taking off! Time to party! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wait till the others see this! It's amazing. Now we have to figure out how to get everybody in here. What'll we do? We'll bring all your guests to your surprise party courtesy of the Chaotix Detective Agency! <clears throat> Let me see! How can we get the crew to the party? For starters, we could promise you won't be there. Uh, if I ever run into those clowns again... Huh? Ah! Ah! You messed up my face! And now I'm gonna return the favor! Hold on! I can explain! Ah! Let's go! <laughs> get back here! Come back here! <laughs> It's payback time! Oh! What have you guys been doing in here? Cosmo wanted to do something special for us, so she was gonna throw us a surprise party. I guess it's off now. Whoops. Hmm. Do you have to cancel the party? Of course you don't. Uh? We don't need any fancy decorations to have a good time. All that matters is we're together. Right, Sonic. Thanks for the party. Great. She likes Sonic now. It's back to square one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, Sonic, what do you think? Do you like my party dress? You look gorgeous, Amy. I wore this dress just for you. Now you can tell me how pretty I look. Oh. I know. You're too stunned for words. So there I was, flushed down the sewer and with no hope of escape except for my superior brain power. <laughs> Cosmo? Uh, hi, Tails. It wasn't quite what we expected, but the party turned out great. I'm glad everybody's having a good time. Oh, yeah. Huh? Here. Huh? You dropped this before. I polished it up for you. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I think it's just wonderful. Thank you so much. I was hoping it would make you happy. Cosmo certainly is special. I only wish I could tell her how I feel. You're so beautiful. Ah! It's true, the stars are beautiful. I'm so happy right now. I feel like I could stand here staring at them forever. So do I. <laughs> Talk around, got ourselves in situations.